Welcome back everyone to our channel. In this video we're gonna see how to sell your courses with unlimited payment methods using WooCommerce integration, the most popular e-commerce WordPress plugin. When it comes to payment methods, MasterSoddy seamlessly works with PayPal, Stripe, offline payment and wire transfers for now. But if you want to unlock the hundreds of payment gateways, WooCommerce is the needed plugin for you. Since the WooCommerce plugin has advanced functionality and many additional add-ons for the introduction of sales accounting, you will have the opportunity to expand the selling of courses as an e-commerce platform. Let's start our job by installing and activating the WooCommerce plugin. In your WordPress dashboard, head over to the Add New plugin and search for it. After the activation, you can use the WooCommerce Setup Wizard to set up basic settings of the plugin. Later, you can modify the settings according to your needs, but I will skip it. From WooCommerce settings, move to the Advanced tab, then Page Setup section. To smoothly proceed with the purchase process, make sure that the Car page, Checkout page, and My Account page are specified. By default, they will be generated automatically after the activation of the plugin. Do not worry if the pages are not created and set with the demo content installation. You can create and install them with one click. Follow WooCommerce Status, then Tools tab. Scroll down until you find the Create Default WooCommerce Pages section and click on the Create Pages button. The plugin will automatically create and set all required pages. No transaction can or will take place unless the payment method is configured. So, to set them up, go back to the WooCommerce settings, then move to the Payments tab and adjust your needed payment method. Master Study supports all payment gateways that are integrated with the WooCommerce plugin. Note that the payment process is controlled by WooCommerce itself and the Master Study is not involved in this process. If there is not your desired payment gateway to use, click on this link and it will bring you to the WooCommerce extensions. Most of the payment methods here are free to use. To enroll a user on a course, the Master Study plugin needs to know which user to provide access to the course content. Hence, there should be a specific user in the WordPress system to be able to apply to the course. That's why the user who wishes to purchase the courses needs to create or have an account. Therefore, it's important to set the guest checkout option of the WooCommerce plugin correctly. To configure the guest checkout, navigate to WooCommerce settings, then move to the Accounts and Privacy tab. In front of the guest checkout option, uncheck the Allow customers to place orders without an account option. Also, enable the allow customers to log into existing account during the checkout to allow previously registered users to purchase using their existing account. Moreover, enable the allow customers to create an account during the checkout option so the user can create an account during the purchase process. However, remember to uncheck allow customers to create an account on the My Account page option as the users need to be registered on the website via LMS registration form. Go ahead and save the change. Good job! Now we are done with the WooCommerce settings. It's time to add our courses as a WooCommerce product. WooCommerce products are the goods that you sell in your market. In our case, they are courses. But before that, head over to the Master Study settings and enable WooCommerce Checkout. This connects the LMS courses with the WooCommerce Checkout system. Note that redirect the checkout after adding to cart function doesn't work with WooCommerce. Once you turn on the WooCommerce from here, Master Study payment gateways will not work. All courses will be sold via WooCommerce payment methods. So, to avoid conflicts, do not use Master Study checkout page on your site. From now on, newly created courses will automatically appear as products on this page. To display the existing courses here, those courses should be visited by any user one time only. The admin is also considered as a user. Or should be added to the cart of the user. So do not worry, even if your previous courses are not listed here, they will be displayed once the student adds them to his cart without any problems. In other words, not being displayed here for previous courses is not a problem. Now, if you open the Woo Products page, you will see three new tabs, namely LMS Products, Enterprise LMS Products, and LMS Bundles. The first one is responsible for courses, the second one for course bundles, and the third one for grow purchases. Products displayed on the LMS Products, Enterprise LMS Products, and LMS Bundles section do not appear in the list of all products in the admin dashboard and the shop page. All the LMS products will be synchronized with the related course settings. If you apply changes 
to the courses settings from the course builder, this change also will appear on the appropriate course from the LMS product section. Please do not play with the product settings. Changing the prices here will not affect the course price. You have to change them via course builder. Product data should be selected as master study LMS product, but master study does it for you too, so you have nothing to do here. By default, the catalog visibility will be hidden for the LMS products, so these courses will not be displayed on the WooCommerce shop page. As you see, there is nothing to change. Our setup has already ended once we turn on the WooCommerce checkout from master study settings. You can track your sales in a WooCommerce from now on. By the way, ensure that your site is in the live mode from the site visibility tab of the WooCommerce settings. Now let's check how it works as a student. I will buy a random course. As you see, it will redirect me to the WooCommerce card, then WooCheckout page. Let me fill out the checkout form. Now my order is created. I can check it from my orders tab and as you see it is now completed automatically which means I have access to the course. Admin manages the new orders from WooCommerce orders page. On this page all of your course sales, in other words, orders can be managed and some of the payment methods, including offline payment and wire transfers, the admin should manually change the order status to complete it by editing the order. Until this happens, the student will get pending status for his order and after your confirmation, he can access the course. In this way, you can sell your course with unlimited payment methods that are available in WooCommerce, a leading e-commerce WordPress plugin. If you find the video useful, smash a like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.